and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Vector Continental 4x24x56. Now 2020 has brought us many, many great optics and this is included in one of them. I actually checked this one out at SHOT Show 2020 and I was really excited to get my hands on one for review. So let's start this review off with a few of the most important features of this optic. Like why are you even looking at this video? Well, for starters, you have a 56 millimeter objective, so it's gonna gather a lot of light. Uh, you have a 34 millimeter tube and 34 milliradians of internal adjustment. Now, typically when you have a bigger tube and a lot of internal adjustment, it means that the, the turrets are gonna be more precise. So if you squash this in a 30 millimeter tube with 34 mils of internal adjustment, you likely wouldn't get the uh, exact values for the turrets. So keep that in mind. This, is expo this, this should be really good. So 34 mils of internal adjustment, a zero stop, and the hard type, I mean, that's the ones you wanna look for. It's got illumination, it's got long eye relief, and a wide magnification range, four to 24. I mean, this has pretty much all the specs you're gonna be looking for. Anyway, let's start testing it out. So let's start with the glass quality. Now, in my opinion, I would be very comfortable shooting this optic out to a thousand meters or yards. This is very well suited for that purpose or for PRS, you know. Uh, the glass in this really won't disappoint you and it's very, very bright, as you can see for yourselves. So for glass, we're definitely gonna give it a five out of five. This is, a ter this is really good glass. And if I'm not wrong, it should be shot glass. Next, we have eye relief. Now, the Continental advertises a four inch eye relief, which I mean, it definitely does. The fast focus eyepiece is also very smooth and there is no slop whatsoever. The eye box isn't the best. It's also not the least forgiving that I've ever seen. It's, it's pretty decent. It's not like if you move a hair off, you're, it's gonna be a dark image. It's really not too bad at all. So for the eye relief, we are gonna give it a five out of five. It's really, really good but it could have a, a little bit better eye box. Next, we have the Focus Parallax. Now, this one focuses all the way down from 10 yards, 15, 20, 30, 50, 100, 200, 300, 500, and infinity. So if you are a really big, big budget air gun shooter, I mean, 10 yards is really up your alley. So this is gonna be really suit your purpose as well. Uh, additionally, the numbers do match the distance indicated and it's super smooth and there is no slop whatsoever. And I mean, at this price, there should be none either. So our, our expectations at this price, which is $850 MSRP or 750 retail. So we are gonna give the Focus Parallax a five out of five. Next, we have recoil. So let's get out to the range and let's have some fun. Nice. There we go. I can kind of tell the wind is picking up a little bit more now. I'm just holding a bit to the right. 
There we go. Now we can measure right here. That's another three quarters of a mil. Just like that. So for recoil, obviously did fine on the 223 and it did great on the 308. There was no issues there. I actually have to redo my load development for my 308. So, you know, it's a work in progress again. <laughs> Here in Canada, if I do my load development in the middle of the winter, I'll have to either do it again in the summer because of temperature variances. And I'm not using a temperature insensitive powder. I'm, I'm going to do that at some point. So, yeah. <laughs> so for recoil, five out of five. Next, we have the turrets which is the most important part of any optic. So we have 34 milliradians of internal adjustment. We have 20 milliradians of internal adjustment on the windage. This optic has a zero stop. Now, if you've watched our Strike Eagle video, if uh, you might remember there was an issue, well, not an issue, it's just a thing, uh, that when you install the zero stop, you only have 47 minutes of angle uh, that are usable with the zero stop install installed. Now this optic, is similar in that manner. However, you can never uninstall the zero stop. Uh, but, and you are limited to 68 MOAs worth of internal adjustment or 20 mils with the zero stop installed, which, I mean, it's always installed. So you can only ever use 68 MO MOAs worth of internal adjustment, which is typically more than suitable for all shooters. Well, unless you're like doing extreme long range shooting and well, even at that, you should be fairly well off. So just keep that in mind. So for turrets, let's head outside and let's test these turrets. All right, let's start with the box test. Let's go three mils up. All right, three mils right. Three mils down. And three mils back to center. All right, now let's go the other direction. Perfect. Now let's check the elevation tracking. Three mils looks good. Six mils looks good. Nine mils looks good. Twelve and fifteen. Damn, spot on. And back to zero. Very nice. Very nice. As we can see, the reticle subtensions do match what they're supposed to. Let's see. Now let's check the amount of internal adjustment for the windage. That's it. And that's it. So let's see how much internal adjustment has with elevation. I'm gonna back off the magnification just so you can see it. Might be a bit much. And that's it. Now these turrets are really positive and really audible. Now this is as far as it goes. Now I'm not really going to stop at zero because I don't have the zero stop set on this uh, rifle scope. So that's how much internal adjustment it has. 110 minutes of angle. All right, let's see if there's any point of impact change with magnification. Now, typically on the optics that I've ever noticed with any, it's usually just from doing this that you will notice some. From what I see, there is none. And with this magnification adjustment, it's super smooth. You're going to just remove this. Ta-da!
Okay, so this is how you remove the elevation turret. So uh, when you're trying to zero, and let's say you can't go uh, any lower, you are gonna have to put the windage turret on the elevation they will fit in order to go lower. So when you're zeroing your scope, just do one at a time. Put the windage on the elevation, get your elevation correct, then put it back on the windage and get your windage correct. So that's what you're gonna wanna do. Now, once you have zeroed your uh, rifle, you are gonna wanna set the zero stop. So as you can see, it says rotate in this direction. You're gonna wanna rotate this. So I'm gonna do the opposite. Let's just, so I might be like this. You're gonna wanna rotate it until you feel a little click and it's gonna stop. Come on. There we go. And you can see that little white kind of dot. Uh, yeah, you should be able to see it like that. So right in there. Now you are prepared to install your elevation turret with the zero stop. So you just make sure that the lines are matched up and you should be ready to go. All right, so there was no point of impact change with magnification. It has 117 MOA or 34 mils of internal adjustment. Now the way I check that is I put the windage turret on the elevation turret. Well, I removed the elevation turret and I put the windage one on. And that's how I was able to actually check. Uh, now, because the windage turret can obviously fit. Obviously, if I did that, it'll fit. And also, the numbers do match the distance indicated, which is really good. And I mean, at this price, it darn well should. Now, these turrets are very positive and very audible. Listen to these. I mean, that sounds beautiful. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, and they're lockable, too. Just an FYI. So for the turrets, we are going to give them a 5 out of 5. Okay. Next, we have the reticle. Wow. The reticle, well, you have only one option. You have a Christmas tree style reticle, so you either love it or maybe you choose something else. This is very similar to the EBR7C. This one is called the, this one is called the VCT34 FFP. So first focal plane, obviously. And I found the reticle a little bit on the thick side, in my opinion. With something such a wide magnification range, it might have to be, just because, you know, you have it has to be somewhat visible, at least at 10 magnification, and obviously at the lowest four, it's gonna be not usable whatsoever. So I find it's a decent compromise. Additionally, it is illuminated. Now, Vector has listened to throughout the years that what people wanna have in illumination, and they, people want the off between the settings and that's exactly what they delivered and the illumination points are also very well graded so for the reticle we are going to give it a five out of five now their lifetime warranty i think starts with their taurus line which is very very good quality and very comparable to the vortex diamondback tactical uh, if you've seen that video i've reviewed that one as well uh, this one is no is no different. It has a lifetime warranty. If ever you did have an issue, now this is the issue that usually comes around with uh, Chinese manufactured companies that are based in China. Well, this one is different because they have an office in the U.S. So if you did have an issue, they would ship you a new one from the U.S. And well, you'd ship your damaged one to that location as well. So that's really convenient. A lot of people, when you have to ship back to China, it's a big turnoff because a lot of the time it costs a lot of money, about 80 bucks. So don't let that be a deterrent to you. They have an office in the US and it's a no questions asked lifetime warranty. So five out of five for that. What are my overall thoughts on this optic? Well, as I mentioned earlier, with the zero stop installed, which can't be uninstalled, you can only have 68 MOAs with internal adjustment, which for pretty much all of our purposes is going to be just fine. Uh, I find in that in that sense, it, it's, it's good. Although I would have preferred maybe a removable type zero stop. That way, if you're doing some extreme long range shooting, or you know what, even with a 22 rim fire, some doing some ELR, uh, you might be able to get a little bit more than 68 MOAs. So th that's just food for thought. Anyway, overall, this optic has all the features you can dream of. And it comes with uh, scope rings, which I've been using these for quite some time and they have not slid whatsoever. Uh, it has three screws on each side, which I mean, it's not gonna move. So yeah, they're not, let's say, uh, premium quality scope rings, but they're pretty good. So in my opinion, is this a very good quality optic? Darn right it is. I would, I would definitely recommend this to anyone who's been looking into shooting out to a thousand meters, who's, uh, 
who's, who's looking into getting into PRS and trying to look for a good value optic, this one is very, very suitable for that purpose. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. We are going to have a video, well, not in this video, but in a different video. We're going to be comparing this optic to the Vortex Strike Eagle. So the new Vortex Strike Eagle 5 to 25 by 56. They are in every way comparable. Stay tuned and thanks for watching Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Also, if you do own this model, please share your experience in the comments below so viewers can also watch my review and see what your thoughts are on this optic. Also, we have a Facebook group, so feel free to join that as well.